Varicose veins, they are unsightly and in many cases they're painful. You used to have to go through a painful procedure of stripping the vein right out of the leg to get rid of them. But in the day of lunchtime peels and facelifts, you can now get those veins taken care of during your lunch hour. Meet Andre Nakahara. She's going to have her varicose veins removed and she's letting us watch. What's been the problem with the varicose vein? Well, I've been doing hair for many years and by standing up all the time, it got worse. So, and it's becoming very sensitive. In the past, doctors would physically strip the vein from the leg, actually pulling it out of the leg. Well, veins have been Dr. Robert Kistner's specialty for over a half a century. He uses thermal heat treatment, which makes vein stripping a thing of the past. We put a catheter uh, connected to a source of energy inside the vein. And we treat the vein from the inside, and the vein actually heals shut inside the leg, so it doesn't have to be taken out. Dr. Kistner marks Andre's veins, and then the procedure begins. She's awake throughout the procedure. And this treatment then heats the inside of the vein to boiling point. That is, the blood gets to the boiling point, but she doesn't feel it because she has a local anesthesia. And this treats for about 14 seconds, and then we move it back. We treat it segment by segment, and each segment is about two inches long, two to three inches long. And so the treatment goes very quickly. It usually takes the actual treatment about a minute and a half. Dr. Kisner treats the vein from the groin down to the calf, and below that, where the vein breaks into branches, he treats it by injecting medicine into the vein. The procedure ends with the leg being wrapped in a pressure bandage. The entire time from when she walked into the operating room until she's wrapped, 45 minutes. She'll be up and uh, she can walk around today. We often go out for dinner and go back to work if they want to. <laughs> Very little pain. There's a little bruising and discoloration, but after a few weeks, it all goes away. Dr. Kistner says the medical community now believes that by treating the veins early on, it may avoid future complications. He says his vein surgery is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Wow, I have to admit, I wouldn't expect that, but you know, I think that puts it into a new perspective because you think, oh, it's something cosmetic, but right. it could actually really be something that's yeah. It can lead to something people. worse, and they actually get this ulcerous vein Ooh, where, where you'll see people with almost black looking feet, and wow. there's actually ulcers, and that's from all the, the blockages. Well, good that medical covers it. Yeah. And again, that's <laughs> really free, right? Interesting. Well, she didn't feel yeah. anything. <laughs>